Salam. Okay, guys, before I talked about eight things that you should never say in Persian, but today I'm going to tell you 10 favorite Persian expressions. Let's go. Well, you know that my name is Asal and nice to meet you. If you liked it and if you are going to learn Persian, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, if you enjoy the videos, you can like the videos. Anything else? No. So let's uh, start the lesson. Number one, Khoshamadi. In everyday speaking, Khoshumadi. Khoshamadi. Khoshumadi. The literal translation is welcome. You can use this expression when someone comes into your home or visit your office, you know? You are in a place and someone visit you and you want to show that you are glad and you are happy to see them. So you can say, No one tells you, <laughs> No, we just write them in the books, And also, you can use the, this expression at the end of the conversation. I mean, the meeting is over and you want to say goodbye. Before saying goodbye, you say, this express your goodwill and show you desire a good leave. Now I play a role for you. For example, Salam, Salam, Khoshumadi. And now we talk about something, you know. Everything you know. How's it going? And then blah, blah, blah. Now it's time to say goodbye. Khoshumadi, Khodafes. What kind of expression you can learn to use it? at the beginning and at the end perfect number two nusha john nusha john it means bon appetit bon appetit or bon appetit i don't know how to pronounce it bon appetit you know i write it here nusha john bon appetit or yes yes or i can say enjoy your meal enjoy your meal definitely john is not commenting on anyone's life you know that it is just an expression number three in everyday speaking when we use it you know the concept of taro if you don't know i create a short video about that that i will put the links here you can go and watch it but the concept of taro is very famous i think everyone knows that well, it is a cultural phenomenon that consists of refusing something out of politeness that has been offered to you even though you want it. For example, you want to buy something and you give the money to the salesperson, but the salesperson says, uh, Literally, it means it is not worthy. But, but it is worthy, but literally, قابلی نداره means it is not worthy. Or in other words, that is for you without payment. Yeah, that, that is it. قابلی نداره, it means like that. And I just open a store and open a sh this shop, just give my goods without payment. But no, my friend, no. This experience expression is just used for the sake of politeness so it does not mean that you should leave the store with the goods and don't pay anything <laughs> you should see it in your dreams it won't happen they will follow you catch you and call the police if you do that <laughs> so what should i do asal what should i do when i am at the store and wants to buy something and the salesperson uh, say that قابلی نداره. what should i do oh my friend just say thank you ممنون. قابلی نداره. ممنون. here you are and also uh, you can use this expression for example uh, you give your pen to your friend if you want to impress them tell them that it's a very very common expression in persian and don't worry when you say your persian friend i don't know your other friends i'm not talking about that i'm talking about your persian or iranian friends 
They won't take your pen for themselves. They will give it back to you. Don't worry about that because we know these kind of concepts. It's very familiar for us. The fourth one, vazi fast. Vazi fast. Vazife ask turns into vazi fast. Literally, it means it is my duty. Funny, right? Yes, it literally it means it is my duty. Uh, this expression um, may shows that uh, he or she really don't want to do it and they just doing it because it's their duty but no it is quite a different message it is not like that no i didn't want to do it and it is my duty so that's why i did it no it's really different the proper meaning is that i am glad to be of help no argue no more talking this is the proper meaning oh hell no vazife as means that you are very very happy that doing this for your friend number five offering it's very beautiful i like it offering this expression is extremely popular and i like it very much and it's usually said with a lot of enthusiasm shows that you really want to encourage your friend in english it means well done beside offering we have sad offering or hazard offering you know uh, literally sad offering means hundreds of well done or hazard offering means thousand of well done it's very very beautiful expression use it a lot and with yourself to your friends offering offering sad offering hazard offering number six mubarak bashe mubarak bashad uh, using written language mubarak bashe in english you can say congratulations so people use this expression to show their happiness and gladness towards you for example when your friend or when you buy uh, something new or when you get married or uh, when you have a new baby when you get promotion or when you finish school when you graduate or anything good that happens in your life uh, your friends will tell you mubarak bashe or otherwise you can tell your friends mubarak bashe seven chekhu the English equivalent can be like excellent. Chefu, it's a way to show that something's going very well. Number eight, kahesh mikona. Kahesh mikona. Uh, this expression uh, literally means I ask. Uh, may, it may have various meaning. For example, it can be mean mm, like it's all right or you're welcome. For example, when someone said thank you, you can say or when someone apologizes you, you can say خواهش میکنم Now, number nine قربانت قربانت or قربونت uh, This expression literally means I would like to be sacrificed for you It's scary um, Maybe you find it as scary but you really don't mean that you would like to be sacrificed for somebody <laughs> no don't worry don't worry it's just a way that you can show your affection show that you like someone okay when you can use it for example someone says thank you very much you were very helpful you can say but it doesn't mean that you are ready to be sacrificed <laughs> for your friend you know you just show your affection that you are glad to help them now the last one number 10 khaste nabashi this expression is very very challenging for persian speakers especially for the children that wants to learn english they ask their teacher oh teacher what is khaste nabashi in english and the teachers all like oh, you know in english 
they don't have such expression how should i translate it because literally it means don't be tired but in persian it's very beautiful if when it turns into english it sounds very weird but this expression is very very useful in persian and when we use it for example at the end of the class when the teacher finished the lesson finished the class and the student says Kastanaboshi, don't be tired in persian it's a good warm expression to show your concern about your teacher or your friend uh, to translate it simply we may say well done okay guys uh, the 10 expression has finished now uh, i hope you enjoy it and uh, learn it use them so I'll see you in the next videos goodbye there is no there is no equivalent in english the equivalent oh my god i can't say that equivalent there is no equivalent <laughs> i don't know why we can't say there is no that can fit in english enjoy your meal